there, it's Sandy Alnock, Bible Journaler here on YouTube. And yes, I put dog bones in my Bible. <laughs> Silly as it is. Well, Jesus replied, truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and it will be done. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. From Matthew 21. And I was struck recently with something that I thought when I was giving my dogs treats. Because my dogs get rewards. They get something when they're good dogs. And I was thinking about all the things that I get when I'm a, a good follower of Jesus. And it's not that I'm doing things for the treats. The dogs do things to get a cookie. But I thought about all of the cookies that God gives us every day. And when we ask for something in prayer, he gives us a reward. He gives us something for it. And my little cookies here, the dog bones, they say milk bone on them. And I thought, what if I replace those with the things that God gives me? So I started mixing up a color and the color looked too bright at first, that yellowish brownish color. And I wanted it to look a little bit more like the dog bone itself. And then just kind of mixed in some, some black-ish color. I'm using neutral tint, but you can use any darker color to try to adjust the color so it's not like screaming bright type of yellowish brown. The, the different dog bones that I did, I just kind of layered them on top of each other for right now and made sort of a collection of them so they're spilled out onto the page itself. If you're doing this with something else, maybe you're going to do Oreo cookies because Oreo cookies is what you think of as treats. <laughs> By all means, use this idea in different ways with whatever is applicable to you. But I have dogs, and that's where, where I went with this. So trace the thing on there if you can. And for me, I just traced the, the milk bones and then set the bone down so I could see what those shapes look like and draw the corners of them that make the two little, little ends of the, the milk bone. And then just put a thick line at the bottom so they have a shadow. And then I can just keep turning the bone different directions and then follow along with what I see up there on the bone. And if you're doing an Oreo cookie, then you can make a slightly dimensional Oreo cookie. But whatever it is, you're going to know what it is, even if you're not able to accomplish it drawing-wise. You could always put that in the text as well. If you choose something, you know, choose something really complex. I'm not even, my mind is blanking on what might be too complex, but you can always put that in the text down below as well to remind yourself of what you were trying to draw. That actually happens to me sometimes. I draw something and it doesn't actually look like what I thought. So yeah, I have to remind myself what was I thinking when I did this. And that's the important part of having some journaling space in your page when you create a page because you may not remember in 10 years where your head was, where your mind was at when you created a page and that will help to jog your memory. So I've also tipped the bone so I can kind of get an idea of how big the letters might be. And I wrote things on mine that God gives me when I ask for them in prayer. When I ask in alignment with his will, he will give me abundantly. He will give me wisdom. He will give me guidance. He will give me strength. He'll give me courage. Those are my treats. Those are the treats he gives me. And so my dogs might get milk bones for rewards, but I get answered prayer. And that is way better than any dog cookie for sure. But having dog bones in my Bible is very appropriate for some crazy person like me who loves her dogs this much. Whatever your treat is, maybe it's an ice cream spoon that, that you can label the side of the spoon with what it is that God gives you or fill the spoon with words telling yourself what it is that is your reward from the Lord for asking him for things in prayer. I will see you guys again next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.